hello everyone welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel i'm shayla thanks for tuning in and if you're returning thank you for coming back let's jump right into how i make a delicious and healthy high protein meal that takes less than 30 minutes to cook majority of the ingredients that you'll see in this video was purchased from trader joe's this meal is high in protein and fat and it's low in carbs the night that i made this meal i knew i would be going to bed in the next few hours so i didn't want anything that was high in carbs because it tends to interrupt my sleep and i wake up feeling bloated let's start off with the swordfish steak swordfish is low in fat and it's high in protein majority of the protein in this meal is coming from the swordfish steak because it's roughly about 26 grams of protein after i cleaned it i put a little bit of olive oil on it and i seasoned it with old bay salt pepper garlic powder and onion powder and honestly i've never seasoned my food with old bay so much until i moved to maryland before i moved here i maybe had it three times but it's okay i like it now and i don't think i have a choice because everywhere i go everything literally has obey in it after i season both sides i put it in the air fryer for 10 minutes after the video, I realized I needed a few extra minutes, so I did put it back in the air fryer for about three to five more minutes, and then it was perfectly cooked. If you're cooking one swordfish steak at a time, 10 minutes is perfect. And if you're cooking two, you probably will need about 12 to 15 minutes. You can also cook it in a skillet on the stove, and it's just as delicious. But I like to use the air fryer because it's easy, I don't have to worry about it, and I don't make as many dishes. So while my swordfish was cooking in the air fryer, I then started to make the kale salad. First, I chopped up some mini cucumbers and tomatoes, uh, well, Roma tomatoes. And I really like to use these type of tomatoes just because they have less water in them. And then I added in a cup and a half of chopped kale, maybe a cup and a half. <laughs> I'm horrible at measurements. If I'm eating this salad without any meat, I tend to add more kale. And then if I'm eating meat with it, then I'll add a little bit less because it, it would be too much. I wouldn't be able to finish it all. After that, I added in some olive oil, not too much, just enough so that way the seasoning that I'm gonna put in there can stick to it. And then I added some adobo all-purpose seasoning. I don't mind the taste of kale by itself, but it just kind of gives it that extra flavor. But don't add too much, just enough to kind of enhance the flavors a little. And then I added my favorite ingredient, which is the hummus. You can also make hummus dressing if you want your salad to be more wet. But to me, the texture is perfect because of the olive oil in the hummus. But if you like dressings that are a little in your you like your salad to be a little bit more wet then there's some recipes online on how to make hummus dressing when i started making it i almost forgot about the feta which is crazy because it brings it all together so i did add a little bit of feta in the salad as well and that's it quick and easy kale salad the salad by itself is great it's been my go-to meal for lunch this summer once your salad is finished all you have to do is add it to a plate and then add your swordfish to the side and you have a healthy and delicious high protein meal in under 30 minutes, super quick and easy. And you won't make a lot of dishes doing this unless you cook it on the stove. But me, the less dishes, the better. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and I will talk to you on my next video. Bye.